Are you feeling stuck, lost, and disconnected? Ritual is a powerful opportunity for spiritual growth and awakening. And in this video, I'm going to teach you the important elements of ritual and how to use them to find your way back to love, back to peace, and back to yourself. I'm Brianna Borton, and I help people awaken to their highest selves. For support in creating your sacred life, reaching your potential, and expanding your consciousness, subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit that like button to get alerted when I post a new video about these subjects every Monday. In my book, Rituals for Transformation, that I wrote with my husband, Dr. Peter Borton, we've taught tens of thousands of people how ritual can help awaken our souls. And now I want to help you. Rituals are used to create a container for whatever intention you hold. That could be one of releasing past pain or bringing in something new. Rituals are about taking moments in time and space and committing them to sacred intention. So it makes sense that the first step in any ritual is intention. Why are we doing it? Is it aligned with our soul, with our values? When we're able to access the real reason behind doing the ritual for us as an individual, we're able to really deepen into the meaning of each individual thing that we might be doing in the ritual. Sometimes we can get caught up in the ritual accoutrement, if you will, rather than really sinking in to the intention, which can hold so much more weight and value as we move through the ritual. And then making sure that the ritual that we're doing aligns for us. So if there's an ancient ritual that we're just bringing forth and continuing on in our lives, if it doesn't align for us or it doesn't align with our values, that ritual is no longer going to have the potency that it would have for whoever created it in the first place. You might wanna take pieces of it that really do align for you, but then shift it and change it so it really aligns for you. Because the more that we are clear about our intention and the more that we are really aware of the alignment of these actions out into the world, the more powerful the ritual will be. The next part of ritual is to set the hollowed stage. So we can do this by cleaning the space, like actually cleaning it, but then cleaning the energy of the space with water, herbs, sound, or intention, really allowing those sacred things to come through and open up the space so that we can fall into it in a way that holds a lot of grace for us. We can also create hollowed space by bringing in divine objects like crystals or writings or candles, things that remind us of the divinity, remind us of beauty, really realign our thinking towards the openness and expansiveness that is available for us. You can also set the hollowed stage by inviting in elements of nature through humble request, meaning we request your presence here. We request your presence here, earth. We request your presence here, wood. We request your presence here, air. Whatever those elements are for you, you can invite them in through humble request of them being present or you can invite them in through representation. So this means actually having a candle to represent fire, actually having stones to represent earth. Things that actually represent these elements from nature are also great ways of inviting them in. I actually encourage you to invite in the elements of nature through humble request and representation. The next way to set the hollowed stage is by asking our guides to come to be with us, to lead us, to protect us, to guide us toward higher understanding, to really see what's here for us and to help us see what we normally cannot see. 
And I keep saying see, but I also want to invite you into knowing that our guides can come and speak to us in so many different ways. It's not always seeing or hearing. Sometimes it's knowing or sensing. So allow all of your senses to be open to receiving from your guides. So I have a question for you. What objects or elements feel like they bring you into sacred space? What does it for you? Allow it to be individual. Maybe it's a poem that really brings you into that space. Maybe it's your favorite crystal, or maybe it's a picture of your grandmother. Whatever it is, I wanna hear about it in the comments below. So let me know, and I love that you'll all be doing this, and hopefully you can read through other people's too and get inspiration. The next step in ritual that we can choose to do is to say a prayer or request guidance in a specific way if it feels appropriate to you. So this could be a prayer to divine wisdom. It could be a request of guidance from your guides, from your spirit animal, whatever it is that you can take the time. And this really helps pull back in the intention. The reason I'm doing this ritual is for this reason. So I'm just gonna pull in this request if it feels appropriate. Next, we move into right action. As we execute our ritual, are we staying present and aware of what we're doing, the intention we're holding, and the impact of our attention? This could include using any of our senses, tastes, smells, sounds, sensations, colors, shapes, or movement or storytelling, or work with the elements. In this way, we're able to start to sink into the present moment when we become really aware of exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it. Right action could also include meditation and energy awareness. All of these ways that we try to pull these threads from these deeper layers of energetic knowing to bring them forth into our tangible reality. But we can't just go through the motions, right? We have to really be present with what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're doing it. And the last step is to express gratitude for the moment, for the space to be in ritual, and for any guides that help us. So we can express gratitude for the future of what we believe this ritual will bring us, or the gratitude just to be in the space of ritual, which is such an honor and such a deep reminder of our power and of the grace that is available to us all the time. And then of course, always reminding us to thank our guides and the elements for helping us and showing us the way. When we think of using ritual to create spiritual growth and awakening, it's useful to look at the three aspects of this process that need addressing. So the first aspect is to clear gunk. This means removing baggage and forgiving and to really start moving through our blockages. Some rituals that are useful for this are writing and burning old bullshit stories or putting things you need to forgive in water that's been blessed with your love or letting things go on the wind or dancing through knots and really moving those blockages and barriers for yourself. The next aspect is eliciting virtue or light. You can do this by bathing in the light and flow, or doing the microcosmic orbit meditation, or doing a candle flame meditation, bringing in the light into your eyes, into your body, into your soul intentionally. And the last aspect that we can address through ritual is awakening to our true nature. And some of the rituals that are useful for this are using fire to unify all the aspects of ourself, or singing or speaking our truth, and there are so many others. But these three elements, the clearing gunk, the eliciting virtue, and the awakening to our true nature are really important things to build ritual around for our spiritual awakening and growth. I'm so excited for you to ritualize your spiritual growth and awakening. Please let me know how it goes. If you want a guided meditation to help with expanding your consciousness and connecting deeply into the web of the universe, 
I've created a web of the universe meditation for you and I've linked it down below in the description. So check it out. I know you're going to love it. If you liked this video, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. It would mean so much to me. And check out my other videos to create more peace and freedom in your life, like this video on connecting to your spirit guides or this video on awakening your consciousness. Thank you so much for being here and I'm sending you so much love.